are you like me and are tired of smoke detectors that continually fail far before they are set to expire or waking up in the middle of the night searching for that annoying chirp? And it never fails. It always happens in the middle of the night, doesn't it? Well, I don't think we're alone. We all want to keep our homes and of course our families safe, but it's becoming more difficult when devices such as these fail far in advance of their expected life cycle. Let's be honest. If a unit fails, it's not necessarily our number one priority to run out to the store and buy a new unit, get home, and install it. This usually takes a back seat until it's more convenient for us to go pick one up. The issue with that is we now have a void in our protection, right? The idea is to have a device that's reliable, that's not too much to ask, is it? <laughs> and that will last a long time or at least close to his expected life cycle. But more importantly, a device that will protect my family and my home. Now, there are many new smoke detectors on the market today that offer some really, really good solid features. And what I have here and what I believe could be the best smoke detector on the market is the new Nest Protect Generation 2 Smoke and Carbon Monoxide Detector. I have been researching and reading about the Nest Protect for some time now, but never pulled the trigger, and mainly that's because of the cost. But the straw that finally broke the camel's back was another recent failure of yet again a run-of-the-mill smoke detector that failed far in advance of its expected life cycle. And now my count is up to three, as you can see here. Now, these units were actually built in October of 2017 and purchased shortly thereafter. And these units have a life expectancy of about 10 years, according to the manufacturer. And these units cost anywhere between 25 and 30 bucks, depending on where you purchase them from. So the real question is, is why are these devices failing only after three years of being used? And I don't think the answer is really clear cut here, but the first thing that comes to mind is the battery, which we all know is one of the main things that goes bad first. But I think the most frustrating part about these devices aren't just that they failed well before their expected life, but the hassle that it has become to get them replaced. I almost feel like I have to be a Home Depot and stock these devices on my shelf just so that I can replace them every time one fails. And we just don't know when that's going to be. The other issue that I have with these devices is that they don't perform any self-assessment, provide any indication other than the battery chirping that they're failing. Unlike the Nest Protect that offers a plethora of ways to tell you that there's an issue. Here are a few examples. The sensors have failed. In the hole, replace Nest Protect now. Nest Protect is disconnected from the internet. Nest Protect has expired. Replace Nest Protect now. So I talked a little bit about my reasoning for not going out and purchasing the Nest Protect right away. But what I'd like to do is go over and take a quick look at the cost of these three devices and why I finally made the decision to take the plunge. So if we look at the three-year life cycle based on what I've got out of these devices and extrapolate that out over the life expectancy of 10 years, which this device is supposed to last, I will have to spend about 270 bucks over a 10-year period to replace these devices. Now, that's not horrible, but I have many more than just these three units in my home. So if you continue to do the math based on how many of our devices you may have in your home, you can see that it could be quite costly to continue to replace these devices. So you're probably wondering why I just don't go change the batteries and continue to use the same devices. So if you look closely, you can see that there are wires that are physically attached to the battery that connect directly to the circuit board, and they aren't meant to be changed. Maybe someone out there has found a battery or a replacement battery that you can use to replace in these units, but it's not intended to do so. It's actually a sealed unit, and the battery is supposed to last the life cycle or the lifespan of the detector, which is 10 years. All right, so enough about these cheap smoke detectors that don't work as stated. Let's dive in and take a look at why the Nest Protect smoke and carbon monoxide detectors are unique, as well as take a look at some very cool features it offers.
So one of the most important features of the Nest, in my opinion, is the brand new split spectrum detection system, say that three times fast, which allows the unit to detect multiple types of fire and smoke. Now, most smoke detectors like these first alert detectors can only sense certain types of fires or smoke based on the sensor that is used inside the unit. So typically smoke detectors like this basic first alert unit uses either one of two types of sensors. We have the ionization and or photoelectric sensors. According to first alert, Ionization smoke detectors are generally more sensitive than photoelectric smoke detectors at sensing small smoke particles. So for those of you wondering, just like I was, an example of small smoke particles would be a hot flame or a hot fire that consumes combustible materials rapidly and leave little to no smoke. Example would be like a burning newspaper or a kitchen grease fire that produces little or no smoke. Now, on the other hand, we have the photoelectric smoke detectors, which are generally more sensitive than ionization smoke detectors at sensing large smoke particles. This type of smoke detector would be best at sensing large fires with a lot of smoke. And I believe that this is really important to know and understand and feel like many people don't know this information. So you really should be placing the correct sensor in the correct room to help protect against these types of fires and smoke. Now, there of course are detectors on the market today, just like the Nest, that do have both types of sensors built into one unit, which certainly helps take away the guessing game on which smoke detector should be placed in which room. Most smoke detectors have relied on this sensor technology for the past 40 years. The ionization and the photoelectric are certainly very good at what they do, but does it offer the right protection for you? The great thing and the one reason that I chose to purchase the Nest Protect is it offers a completely redesigned split spectrum sensor system that protects against all types of smoldering and flaming fires. In fact, according to Nest, the Nest Protect sounded a heads up alert earlier on average than other types of alarms tested during smoldering fires and also sounded a heads up alarm earlier on average than the photoelectric alarms tested during flaming fires. So you can see that the Nest is really, really good at sensing all types of fires and I don't have to guess at which detector I need to place in which room. Another great feature of the Nest Protect is that it is also capable of sensing carbon monoxide. So there is no longer a need to go out and buy yet another device to protect your home and your family. And also to note, the importance of this is that carbon monoxide is poisonous and you can't smell it and you can't see it. And the Nest Protect has one of the most accurate types of carbon monoxide sensors available, which certainly allows me to sleep better at night. All right, so now that we went over some very basic but yet important aspects of the Nest Protect, let's dive into some other cool safety features that you get with Nest Protect. Traditional smoke detectors lack the integration or alerting capabilities with other smoke detectors in your home when an event occurs. Now, this is especially important if you own an older home like I do, and your detectors are not electrically tied to one another, which sends off an alert down the chain of detectors. You don't always know what detector is going off and for what reason. When you integrate or install multiple Nest Protect units, regardless if they are battery or electrically connected, and one unit senses smoke, fire, or carbon monoxide, it will alert the other Nest Protect devices as well as your phone and will provide you an audible alert just like these so you know exactly what is happening and where. Emergency. There's smoke in the hallway. Heads up. There's smoke in the hallway. The alarm may sound. The smoke alarm is over in the hallway. Heads up. There's carbon monoxide in the hallway. The alarm may sound. Now this type of alerting could help save a life and allows you to quickly assess how to escape in case of a fire or other event. So speaking of integration, here's what other Nest products can do when the Nest Protect detects smoke or carbon monoxide in your home.
Here's what the Nest thermostat will do when integrated with the Nest Protect. This is really, really cool, folks. If smoke or fire is detected, the Nest thermostat will display an alert and automatically shut off your HVAC system to prevent the smoke or fire from spreading through your home. If carbon monoxide is detected, the Nest thermostat will display an alert and shut off your HVAC system to prevent the furnace from spreading that deadly odorless gas throughout your home. That's huge. Without lifting a finger, the Nest is helping keep you and your family safe. That is just amazing that these devices, when connected together, can actually do that. Here's what the Nest camera will do when integrated with the Nest Protect. The camera will automatically turn on and start streaming video, which can be viewed in your app. It will record an emergency clip, even if you don't have a Google Nest Aware subscription, which is pretty amazing. Now, something to note for those of you who do have the Nest cameras, you need to go into the camera settings because this feature is automatically turned off by default, and you'll need to adjust the settings to turn it on. Now, this will allow you to have some kind of visibility into your home when an emergency occurs, which again is a huge feature and I absolutely love. I don't specifically have a Nest camera here, but it is making me think about going out and purchasing one. All right, folks, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope I was able to shine a light on some of the safety features that the Nest Protect offers versus a standard run-of-the-mill smoke detector just like this and how important it is to use a good smoke and carbon monoxide detector in your home. But more importantly, having the right smoke detector in the right room. Now, there are far more cool techie features that we didn't even discuss here today, but I will be doing a follow-up video on those features in the coming weeks. So don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you will be notified when I release new videos just like this. Thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I truly do appreciate it. Stay safe and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.